How about it, Tai Chi players? Welcome to Riverside Tai Chi. My name is Sifu Jesse Powell, coming to you from the heart of New York City. Today, we're going to do another Wu Style Warrior History vlog, and we're going to be uh, talking about Master Wang Pai Shang. Check it out. <laughs> Master Wang Pai Shang, born in 1919 and lived until 2004. He was a Wu style warrior that bridged the gap between old school and the new age. He started his martial arts journey by studying with Ma Gui and learned the Yin style 64 palms of Ba Gua Zhang. Master Wang also learned the Shur Ba Jie broadsword form. Master Wang Pai Shang also was well versed in many styles of Chinese Kung Fu. This is a pattern found in the masters of old. They branched out in their youth to learn many styles. Master Wang Pai Shang had many teachers. Some of the other styles he learned were Tong Bei Chuan, Tan Tui, Xing Yi Chuan, and Ba Ji Chuan. In his youth, he was introduced to Yang Yu Ting, who became his Wu style teacher. After just a few years of training, Wang progressed so far in the art of Wu style Tai Chi that he began to assist Yang Yu Ting in teaching the classes at the Tai Miao Tai Chi Chuan Research Center. During his lessons, he came under the notice of Wang Mojai. Wang was very impressed with the skill he had developed. Wang Mojai took young Wang Pei Sheng under his wing and personally trained him for many years. The training young Wang had with Master Wang Mojai was pretty intense. He trained with Wang Mojai privately and gained a lot of knowledge. He trained with Wang Mojai at the construction materials shop that Wang Mojai owned. Wang Mojai frequently practiced behind the counter in the shop, and the stones on the floor became polished like mirrors due to his long hours of practice. Wang Pei Sheng conveyed the experience of the training. He said, and I paraphrase, during training I remember being either thrown to the floor or thrown to the traditional brick bed. The training was not full of verbal explanations, but physical examples that brought the lesson home and gave Wang Pei Sheng great understanding of Tai Chi as a martial art. He was always interested in testing his skills. He didn't have an arrogant, bully-like way of testing himself, but looked at challenges as a way of two martial arts testing their skills together. One example of his martial exchanges was with the Wudang Mountain Priest, Wang Doyi. The priest was traveling through Beijing on a quest to find others of high-level martial arts skills. The monk wanted to challenge the best fighters to see whose skill was the highest. The priest went to challenge Master Yang Yu Ting. The priest was told he had to fight young Wang Pei Sheng first before he could fight Yang Yu Ting. The priest was thrown several times by young Wang Pei Sheng. The priest was shocked at the high level of skill this young man had and became good friends with Wang Pei Sheng in the end. They trained together for many weeks until the priest left town. Before the priest left, he taught young Wang Pei Sheng the Wu Dang Jiang form as a gift for helping him train and gain more knowledge. Another famous encounter, among many, was in 1939. The Japanese were occupying China in World War II. Master Wang Pei Sheng and others were practicing in a park Four soldiers came up and started watching and decided they wanted a challenge. The soldiers pulled out their bayonets and said, Who can defeat us without weapons? Master Wang said, I'll give it a try. He proceeded to disarm all of them. The soldiers ran from the scene in shame. Later on, Wang Pei Shang went on to succeed his teacher, Yang Yu Ting, as the head of the Northern Wu style Tai Chi Chuan group. As I mentioned earlier, Wang bridged the gap between the old school and the new age. He was well known for his Wu style martial ability and he developed a 37 move short form by removing many of the repeated movements from the long form. The form is laid out in the book called Wu Style Tai Chi Chuan by Xiaohua Publishing House back in 1983. Master Wang Pei Sheng passed away in 2004 and will always be remembered for his amazing contributions to the art of Wu style Tai Chi and preserving the art for generations to come. Comment down below and let me know what you would do if you were challenged by four soldiers today 
if you were in the same situation as Master Wang Pei Shang. Okay, Tai Chi players, don't forget we have um, our Wu Style Tai Chi t-shirts for sale. You can check them out right here and I'll leave a link in the description to the web page where you can buy them anytime you want. Thanks for watching. Train smart. Train well. Talk to you soon.